Hey, what's going on guys? It's TrekYT here, Ornick, back at it again with another brand new video. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a little tips and tricks video on some things that are pretty essential to using world edit I want you guys to further a little bit of your knowledge in world edit now this is not going to be every tip and trick in the book but this is just going to be a little I guess quick entry level uh, evaluation of like pretty basic things that you should know how to do with world edit but some people don't always know how to do it and it makes a lot of building a lot easier if you know how to do these things so without further guys let's jump right into this video so before I get into our first tip i want to uh, let you guys know that i'm going to put all of the i guess commands down in the description below as i do them and so starting ourselves off with our first command we're going with the copy paste cut and undo command so that's four separate commands now when using real that you have your axe your wooden axe that is your tool that you use to select things so you can select like one point and then select another and then that'll create a sort of box so when we're selecting our area we want to select this whole house so we select our first point i put this so that way it covers the edge of this and it covers the edge of this and then it covers all of the blocks down below so that's our first point and then our second point is up here now this is going to select everything from in there all the way over there and then everything down below so that is creating a box from that point to that point around this entire object and now when we want to copy it we got to pick a point that we know where we're going to stand when we paste it. So a pretty easy point for me is standing right in front of the doorway. I'm going to stand on this gold block just so you guys can tell. And I'm going to do slash slash copy. Now I have the copy of this build in my, I guess, vault. Or I don't even know how to explain it. So basically if I were to slash slash paste, that would paste this exact object because that is the most recent thing that I copied. So if we wanted to paste this object over here, we could paste it right over here. I'm going to put this gold block down just to show you that where I stood for this is where it's going to paste. So basically, I was standing on that gold block over there when I copied it. And when I paste it, slash slash paste, it pasted in the exact orientation with everything that was in there over here and now if we maybe let's say we messed up we didn't actually want this there we didn't mean to we can do slash slash undo and that will undo the pasting of whatever we just did now what we can do if we let's say we didn't want this build here at all we still have this area selected by selecting these two this whole area is still now selected if we want to get rid of this area we can do slash slash cut and that gets rid of everything that was in there. And let's say we accidentally cut it, we can again do slash slash undo, and it brings everything back. So that is our first tip. Those are basically the most basic things in World Edit. That is something that everyone that is using World Edit should basically know how to do. So let's move on to our next one. So now that we know how to copy and paste and stuff like that, we're going to get into, I guess, some more advanced things with World Edit, rotating and flipping. So a lot of things that people like to do when building large symmetrical builds or just building things, or they have like one build and they want to like repeat it over and over again, but they don't want it in the same orientation orientation like they want to rotate at 90 degrees we use slash slash rotate and for that what we do is we copy it and then we have to put our copy down so we're in a slash slash copy right here and now we have that stored in here and now if we want to rotate it we just do the command slash slash rotate 90 now that can rotate at 90 degrees this way so it goes uh, clockwise when you do it so let's say we wanted to paste it right here we can put our gold block down because that's where we pasted it before. You don't actually have to put the gold block down. I'm just using that as a reference so you guys can see that it's actually rotating it. And then we just do slash slash paste. And then we have rotated 90 degrees. Now, some blocks like the fences and stuff like that, the orientation stays the way of your copying. So you may have to break this block and then replace it. But let's say that we didn't want it there. We can, we can do slash slash undo. And that will bring it back to exactly how we had it before. Now let's say that we want to try to experiment with the slash slash flip command. So now how this works is pretty simple. Basically what it does is you can flip it over various axes. I'm just going to show you basically flipping it over like I think it's the Y axis. Is So basically we have to select our region. Now I use this a lot when I'm building symmetrical builds and I want to build like one half of it and don't really want to build the other half. So I just do the slash slash flips. So I, I selected my area. These blocks right here is what is selected. Now we're going to do our copy command. Now I'm going to copy it right here in the exact center. Now that is the best place to copy it because that means that we're going to flip it over this line right here and it's going to flip over there. And so when we're doing this, we need to pull up our cords and we need to find out what direction this way is. So if this is your build and we want to flip it that way, we have to flip it that way. So we're facing east right now so we can do 
We don't even have to stand on that block. We can do slash slash flip. Then we do space east. And now our thing is flipped east. So now if we paste it, it'll paste in this orientation, but everything on this side will paste onto that side. So now we're going to do slash slash paste on this gold block. And there we go. So it flipped everything that was on this side onto that side. Now this can be used in a lot of different ways. I just really use it when I'm being really lazy and just want to do flip on one side to the other. It makes building a lot quicker. And so let's move on to our next tip. So our next command is about setting things and replacing things. So basically for setting things, you select an area and when you do slash slash set of any block like like slash slash set stone, it selects your entire area and replaces it with stone. Now, let's say we want to get into a little bit more of advanced things. When slash slash setting, you can set with more than one type of block. Let's say that we wanted to try to texturize something, and I use this a lot for texturizing. Let's say we wanted to set that area that we just did. We said slash slash set. Let's say we wanted stone, uh, dirt, um, and then we'll just finish it off with grass as well. Now, this will go 33, 33, 33 percent of the whole thing so it'll very it'll randomize it so if we do that slash slash set all that now we have a random pattern that's generated let's say we didn't like that we can do it again over and over and over again until we find the perfect thing now this can be combinized or combination of multiple blocks this is what i use when i'm doing sort of like pass or let's say we're going to use our next thing we're going to learn use replace i do the exact same thing i just take a bunch of blocks that i want in it and then i replace it so i get the perfect amount of blocks uh, for each other block. So now slash slash replace is a different version of slash slash set. All it does is you're selecting one block. So let's say we're selecting the grass block in here. So slash slash replace is our command. Then we put our type of block that we're trying to select. So like we only want the grass blocks to change in this. And then when we do that, now we can choose the blocks that we want it to set to. So stone, let's say we'll do that again. And then we'll do dirt again and then we'll do grass as well so it'll do the i guess mixturizing of all those blocks but it will only affect the grass block so we do that and as you can see it really only affected the grass blocks because we have this block here and that block there and so basically when i'm using this command i'm usually selecting like a large surface so let's say like i had a massive landscape right here that was all made out of stone but i wanted to texturize that with andesites polished andesites maybe some cobblestone i would select the whole area so i would select like a cube shape like i was doing over there and then i would do that command and it would only affect the stone and then it would texturize all of those stone blocks which would make building a lot faster because i won't have to go back and hand texturize all of those so let's move on to our next tip so so our next tip is actually a really, really fun one that makes building a lot easier. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take out some tools. Now, I'm using these tools just because I use them because I like the shovels for this, but this is brushes. Brushes in Minecraft is literally what it is. It's brushes. So basically, you can take one tool. Let's say we want to use this wooden. It will use this tool and it will apply the brush to it. So the command is slash slash brush. Now we do that. It pulls up all these brushes. It shows you what you can use. So the brushes that I normally use are either the slash smooth, the sphere, or I use the clipboard one. I really never use any of the other ones. I'm not exactly sure how all of those ones work, but I use the sphere and the smooth one for terrain if I want to do some quick terrain. And I also use the sphere if I'm building like massive massive trees I can use that and then I use the clipboard one for building paths so let's go ahead over the clipboard one first so basically the clipboard one is what you do is you select your area it can only be I think up to a five by five area and then you do slash slash copy and now it's copied and when you want to apply it to your thing I do slash brush and then I type in clipboard and now what I've just selected is now going to be in my brush now for this this is going to be pretty weird this is masking. So masking is also a very, very important thing when using brushes. It basically masks the block that you want affected. So let's say I wanted to build a tree and I only wanted the air to be affected. I didn't want to manipulate the ground or anything. I just wanted the blocks to affect the air. So right now I only want the blocks to affect the grass because I want the path to be in the grass. So if I do slash slash mask grass, now it will only affect the, oh, it's actually one slash. So slash mask grass. Now that will only affect the grass. So when I do that, now we can just start painting on like this and it creates this path effect almost if we wanted to like that. And now we have a texturized path 
that was easily put on by just brushing it like this. Now, that is one thing that I really like doing with this, and now I can show you guys how I can use the other brush, the sphere brush, and maybe even the smooth brush. So like I was saying, I like to use the sphere command, the slash brush sphere. Now when we pull that up, it shows you what you're supposed to do. So you're supposed to put your pattern, which is your block choice, so and then you do your radius of your sphere. Now if you're using this to build trees, or if you're using this for like landscape, if you're doing trees, I would suggest a radius of one, but if you're doing like landscapes, you can get as large as you want. And now landscaping with brushes is sort of an advanced technique that would take a whole entire video to actually explain, but there's plenty of videos out there that probably do a lot better of explaining than I would, so if you want, just look up how to make terrain with world edit and it'll probably have that technique in here. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to do slash brush sphere and then our our block choice. Now I'm going to do the all sided wood block, the oak wood lock and then I'm going to do one. So now when I would do this, let's go like this. Now what I did not do here that I am going to do after I undo this is I didn't do mask air. If I don't mask air, it affects every block in the area that I have clicked on. So basically, it affected these grass blocks. So if I were to break this, you can see that it also affected the grass block under there. So that's not something that I want. So I'm going to do slash undo, and I'm going to do slash mask air. Now, the air is selected. So that means when I do that, oop, I messed up again, slash undo. I had it on the wrong mask. I had it on the non-selected tool. So now this is the one that's selected. So now when I do that, see, it does not affect the grass. And now we can use this to create trees by just going up like that. And then I really have to work with it when I make trees. But basically, you can see it gets a lot of blocks down really fast. And then sometimes I go back in there and select it with hand. Or I just start breaking down blocks like this. Like I want all this curved out or something like that. That's how I build really big trees really quickly. And now let's move on to our next tip. So now this next tip is pretty creative and it's pretty nice for when you're creating large lakes or something like that. You can use the slash fix water command to basically if you put like one thing of water down then it'll start fixing all the water at that same level. So basically if I do the slash slash fix water it brings up what you need to do. Now you need to put a radius. Now radius is basically from your person outward as far as you want in a circle pattern. Now I'm just going to do fix like probably 15 because that seems like it'll fix the water around me. Now I have to stand over here like that within the area of this water and basically what it did is it took this water source that was over here and basically spread it around all this that's my best I guess <laughs> version of what I'm trying to say so basically it does that and you can do the same thing with lava over here now if you just do slash slash fix lava it'll do the exact same thing lava there we go and it does the exact same thing so now you have two awesome cool lakes that you didn't have to hand place all of those things and that just makes building a lot quicker and that's what world that it is mainly for now moving over to our last tip now this is a pretty good tip that i have learned over the last couple of months and i've really utilized it very much it's the slash move command and slash stack so slash move is basically what it sounds like you're moving your selected area one way or another so if i want to do slash slash move and i want to move it away from me i would do like let's say i wanted to move it one block i would move it one block away from me and it would move one block away so when you're entering in this command you have to put the numerical value of how many blocks you want it to move first and then the direction so like forward backward up down stuff like that so let's say we wanted to move this five blocks up so slash move five up now this block will move five places from where it was upwards. Now you can count that one, two, three, four, five, and move five up. So that's pretty awesome. That's something that I use for when I maybe I put something in the wrong place, like a large structure. I can move the whole entire large structure over one or two blocks just to make it perfect. And now let's move on to our next one, which is our slash stack. Now this is basically, I use this more for like pillars. Let's say I put like one block down for the color of choice and then I just want it to go so many blocks high. So let's say that I wanted this block to go up six blocks high. So I would do slash stack. It's the same way you put the numerical value first and then the direction. So six up and it'll basically stack it in like a column. And now you can do this also laying down. So let's say I wanted to go six forward. It would slash stack six forward. And now it has now all these blocks. And the slash stack basically repeats your selected area over and over and over again, touching the uh, the last one. So let's say that I selected an area like this, slash stack two. If I do the exact same thing, slash stack six forward, it would stack two of each. So it would go one, two, one, two, one, two, and it would go on and on and on and on forever. So basically that's 
all of the commands that I've got for you guys today. So if you guys did enjoy those commands, let me know down in the comment section below and drop a like on this video if it was at all helpful. Now I can definitely do a part two to this because there's definitely tons of more world edit commands out there or I can just go into more depth about maybe the brushes or something like that because that's a pretty hard concept to grasp as well. So if you guys want to see any more videos related around world edit, let me know down in the comment section below. I know it's a very used uh, thing by a lot of builders so if it's really hard to get really good at it but once you just play with it a lot you could really start to I guess get the knowledge of how everything really works with the world edit so as always guys I love you all see you guys later peace out